Hi guys, my name is Abby and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is going to be the continuation about the NBPNP which are going to be about the document checklist and the application guide. So if you haven't watched my previous video, I suggest that you watch it first. So you will have the full idea on what I'm going to share with you today. So if you're ready to check all the eligibility criteria for the employer and you as the applicant, the next thing that you need to ready are the documents needed for the NBPNP application. So there are going to be different parts of the documents that you need to submit. And the first part is about the identity and civil status documents, which are birth certificate for you and your spouse or common law partner and if you have a dependent child, marriage, divorce, or death certificates. And if you have a common law partner, you need to upload a completed statutory declaration of common law union form and B008 and you have to include the evidence that you have cohabited with your partner for a period of at least 12 continuous months so you can provide the documents listing both your names like the copies of joint bank accounts, copies of leases and utility bills and other documents to prove your common law relationship. Next is the passport for you, your spouse and any accompanying dependent children, travel documents which are your visas and permits, providing the proof of legal status here in Canada and a color digital photo for you and each family member included in your application and it must comply with the Canadian passport photo specifications. And next is about the eligible documents which are valid language test results from either IELTS or CELPIP. If you study in Canada, you need to provide the proof of education earned in Canada which are your diploma or certificate and your transcript of records and if you studied outside Canada you need to have the educational credential assessment from a recognized organization to show that your credential is valid and equal to a Canadian credential and next is about your work experience and you have to provide reference letters from each employer especially if you're going to claim points in those work experience. You, you can also provide pay stabs, tax documents, bank statements with at least six months transaction history displaying salary deposits. And if you work in Canada, you need to provide the T4 tax information slips that reflects the work experience time frame. And if you're claiming points for adaptability and your spouse or common law partner studied here in Canada, you can also submit their proof of education which are their diploma or certificate that, that is earned here in Canada and if they also took a English exam from IELTS or CELPIP you can submit their test results and next is about the job offer documents so these documents are going to be from the employer that will going to support your application in the NBPNP program and those documents are the skilled worker employer information form or the NBPNP 004 that needs to be completed dated and signed by you and your New Brunswick employer reference letter showing your name the company's contact information the name title and signature of the immediate supervisor or personal officer at the company and all the positions held while employed at the company including job title, duties and responsibilities, job status, dates work for the company, number of work hours per week and annual salary plus benefits, as well as the work contracts, your work permit, the job advertisement of your position and the T4 tax form information. So for the T4 tax form, just make sure to remove the social insurance number. And for other documents, you will have to submit the consent and declaration form or the NB005. So this should be completed, dated, and signed by you and your spouse or common law partner. So this form is mandatory. And another one is if you will use a representative, you will need to submit a use of representative form or the NB007. So this is also need to be completed, dated, and signed by you and your spouse or common law partner. And the other one is the affidavit of translation. So, if any document that is not English or French must be accompanied by the English or French translation and an affidavit from the person who completed 
the translation if required. So when you have all these required documents, you can now proceed in submitting your application. So here's the step-by-step -step guide in submitting your NBPMP application. So the first step is creating an INB account and submitting your expression of interest or the EOI. So in submitting your expression of interest under the stream, you must provide an NB connection which is the job offer from the NB employer. By providing an NB connection, you will be able to continue filling up other information regarding your language, education, work experience, and adaptability. And after filling up this information, you will be able to generate your score and you must have at least a minimum of 60 points. And once you fill up all the required information and got at least the minimum points, you can now submit your expression of interest. And next is receiving the invitation to apply. So if your EOI is successful and selected, you will be issued an invitation to apply or the ITA and you will receive this in your notification center in your INB account. So this is the stage where you can upload all the required documents and fill up again some information and it should match the information that you provided when you submitted your expression of interest. You will have 45 days to completely submit your application and there are 10 stages to complete and fill up information which are going to be about your personal history, about your spouse or common law partner, your address in the past 10 years, your background history and your work experience and you will also need to upload here your bank statement or bank certificate and in the last stage you will need to pay the $250 application fee that you can pay through your debit or credit card or through interact online and once the payment has been successfully completed you can now submit your application so your application will go through completeness check to see if you submitted all the required documents and information and if they approve your application the province will nominate you and they will issue you a nomination certificate. The nomination certificate is valid for 9 months from the date that is issued and it is considered valid if you submit a complete PR application before the expiry date on the nomination certificate. And one important thing to remember is that you must maintain the conditions of your nomination while waiting on the decision of your PR application. And last is submitting your application to the federal or to IRCC. So being nominated does not guarantee the approval of your PR application. You will still have to submit other requirements and the IRCC will be the one to assess your application and the one to make the final decision of your permanent residency application. You will have to create an account in the PR portal where you will be able to submit all the required documents including your nomination certificate. You will have to fill out forms that are similar with the NBPNP application. So you need to make sure that the information matches the one that you provided in your NBPNP application. The processing time may vary and as of now, according to IRCC, the processing time for Provincial Lomini Program is 21 months. And if you want to know about my PR application timeline, you can watch my previous videos where I shared my PR journey and application timeline. And I got my PR approval in just 6 months under the NBPNP Skilled Worker Stream. So that is all for today's video. I hope that this video can help you process your own PR application through NBPNP. And if you have questions, you can send me a message through my Facebook account or you can also comment here in my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and for your continued support to my channel. And please share my videos so we can help and reach more people in their journey here in Canada. I'll see you at my next video. Bye!